Let's start talking about corporations. This third and key form of organizing or form to organize business and other types of uh, groups into is called a corporation. We'll discuss this uh, in detail. It's a legal entity that's created by the state. In a way, you can think of it as an innovation that occurred um, back in the early days of, uh, of commerce to allow it to survive an individual's life and death if there was a catastrophe on the sea and the like. Um, it's, it was, it's created by the state and its assets and liabilities are separate from its owners. In some ways, you can think of it, it's like a separate person or a separate entity. A corporation differs from a sole proprietorship and a partnership in that all of its assets and liabilities are separate from those of the owners. They are the corporation's assets and the corporation's liability. Corporation has many, has many of the rights, duties, and powers of a person, such as the right to receive, own, and transfer property. Corporations can enter into contracts with individuals or other legal entities, and they can sue and be sued in court. Corporations account for the majority of all U.S. sales and income, that is, profits. Not all corporations are large, and some even small corporations can, also small businesses can incorporate. It's uh, often called a Corp C or a C Corp. Corporations are typically owned by many individuals and organizations who own shares of the business. Those shares are stock. That is why owners are often called shareholders or stockholders. Stock may be bought or sold separately among various people. It can be given or received as a gift and it can even be inherited. As owners, stockholders are entitled to dividends. Dividends are profits of the corporation that are distributed in the form of cash payments to the stockholders. However, not all after-tax profits are paid to stockholders and dividends. Some corporations may retain profits to expand their business. In other words, you maintain the assets, the capital, including cash assets, so you can invest in future expansion and other projects. You're looking for projects that increase the value of your company. How do you create a corporation? Well, individuals create corporations and they're known as the incorporators. Each state you know, in the United States has its own specific procedure called chartering the corporation that allows you to incorporate businesses. The incorporators then file legal documents with the state containing basic information refer referred to as the articles, articles of incorporation. A corporate charter is then issued. A corporate charter is a legal document issued by the state to a company based on the information the company provides in the articles of incorporation. After securing the charter, the owners establish bylaws and elect a board of directors. There are different types of corporations. First, uh, first of these, a corporation does first a corporation does business in the state in which it is chartered. In that state, it is known as a domestic corporation. If it works in other states, that is other states of the United States, the corporation does business there in those other states. It is known as a foreign corporation, even though it's all still in the United States. Domestic corporations are in the state where they are incorporated and they're in foreign, they're foreign corporations when they do business in other states. An alien corporation is a corporation whose business is outside of the United States where it's in, 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 of the nation where it's incorporated, in this case, outside of the United States. It's called an alien corporation if it is part of a foreign entity. This, this slide shows some American companies who get more than half of their revenue or their sales from outside the United States. For example, like Caterpillar right, makes product, like large machinery like trucks and um, construction equipment. Dow Chemical makes chemicals, General Electric, General Motors, automobiles, obviously, IBM, Intel, McDonald's, Nike, Procter & Gamble. 
Yum Brands, Taco Bell, KFC, those kinds of things. They they're they're owned by Yum Brands. These are companies that most of their business, or more than half of their business, is outside of the United States, but they're still U.S. businesses. Even though we often think of those larger companies we just mentioned that are public companies, not all corporations, either very even very large ones, are publicly traded. Some are privately owned, a small number of investors, or even a reasonably large number of investors, but it's not the, the shares are not traded on public exchanges. Private corporation is owned by one or a few people who are closely, generally closely involved in management, the, managing the business. This group of people is usually a family or a, a, or a small group that all that own all of the corporation's stock, and none of it is traded to public public individuals who don't have interest or don't, don't have visibility into the company. Privately owned companies are not required to disclose financial information to the public because they are not selling their shares or ownership in them to the company or to the public. Um, Private companies who wish to expand their operations needing additional capital, uh, they can do this by financing the company through banks. But oftentimes, if you need large amounts or in order to allow them to monetize or have liquid assets to be able to sell some ownership in their company, they do what is called an initial public offering or an IPO. That's when the, a portion of the company is sold through uh, an investment bank and an underwriter into the public so the public starts trading shares as you might have guessed they have to begin the company then has to begin providing information about its operations to the public because the public is now trading or purchasing ownership in the company that is when it becomes a publicly traded company and there, then information is required by various regulatory bodies like the Security and Exchange Commission to the information has to be provided to the public so they're informed when they make investment decisions. Example of a large company that is a privately owned company is the Mars Company, owned by the Mars family, one of the world's largest candy makers. When it purchased Wrigley in 2008, it was uh, it achieved that status and it is still a privately held company. Many or most of the companies we think of as corporations, or particularly the very large corporations, are public companies, however, and we'll talk about them in the next lecture.